Hi, I'm Betty Hurley, and in this uh, short video, I'm going to show how to work with adding uh, groups to your journal, uh, which is now in Moodle rather than Mahara. So in your course, um, as in, in this one, in Discovering Math Cross Generation, you all have this journal <laughs> link now under your, your first page. And um, if you also have uh, another group activity, um, I will do a separate uh, video on, on how to um, do the journal with those other, other groups. You have to do an added extra step. But in most of the courses, there is just the journal and no other group work. And uh, what you'll need to do is this journal, which I'll click on, has within it all the directions for the journal and it is linked to from each of the um, uh, the assignments um, within the, each module where there is a journal entry. Note here you have all participants and uh, in most cases there's been preloaded the uh, journal uh, titles um, and I will show you how to change this so that it's a little more informative. <laughs> um, and um, so that's a way to also if you want to see a particular student's journal you can just click on that. What we'll need to do is uh, create each of those groups and for the journals now there is a, uh, a group for each student which contains just the student and yourself and the way you would do that is just to go to ad administration and click on course administration and click on users and click on groups and it takes you right to your groups what you would then do is uh, choose your first group uh, journal one click on add and re remove users <laughs> and click on your first student and add and then uh, go down um, you may have to scroll down and click on yourself and press add and once this has uh, both students in it uh, your, your, uh, I mean you and the student in it you can click done <laughs> or uh, back to groups um, note first though the the name of the, the student and I usually like doing a uh, first name so we're gonna do N-U-Z-H-A-T and I'll explain that so now you're going to have journal one you want to edit the group settings and change that name to N-A-Z-H-A-T You see how you have to remember the name though before <laughs> um, doing that. Okay, so now we have uh, journal journal one, which uh, will be alphabetically listed. So it's down here in the bottom. Uh, now I set now with two. So each time you add a, a journal, so I'll I'll do one more. So journal two, add remove users. Let's now go to Laura, add her, go down to instructor, add that one, now that that's done, go back to groups, and go down and edit the group settings and change that to Lara. Okay. Now in some of your cases, this one has 20 listed in and there may even be more than 20. As you know, the cap's gone up to 25. Students in here, um, if, if you um, don't have one, if you've uh, gone up to 20 or some, some of the classes only have 10, if, you've, if you need to add more, then you would just go to create group and, and go on. Um, you may want to, before you do create group, um, you know, take a look at the list of, of students um, 
um, as you've created other groups and know the, the next name so that uh, you can create the group with uh, the student name in there. Otherwise, you'll have to go back up and, and revise it. So you can do Journal 21 here and then change it, but it's just an added step. And once the group is changed, is created, um, <laughs> so let's just put, um, I'll put Journal 21 here. So once that group is, is created, then you can do as, as you did before, select it, add remove users. If you have any questions about this, uh, certainly let me know. If we go back now to our Discovery Math Across Generations and click on Journal, and look at uh, the participants, you'll see that Lauren and uh, Ness had are now in there. Um, you can uh, delete uh, journal names under groups once once you have your class set. Also, uh, do uh, keep track of um, new students being added because uh, <laughs> if a new student is added after you do this, you will have to go in and add them. Um, so I hope that's um, uh, sufficient. And um, again, if you have questions, certainly let me know.